may be concerned, but shouldn't be surprised. That's the message today from Kentucky's Education Commissioner talking about the state school report card that will be made public next week. WDRB's Darby Bean explains how the results highlight the impact of the pandemic on kids and schools. Do this one by four and the other one by like three. The past few years in the classroom would have previously never been imagined. Hybrid learning, virtual options, so many changes that came along with the pandemic. We've gone through the most challenging time in school history. Jefferson County Public School Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio saying two of the most difficult challenges in education have been the pandemic itself and an extreme teacher and employee shortage. Which, which continues, both of them continue in some ways. Friday, he was joined by Kentucky Education Commissioner Dr. Jason Glass to visit two JCPS schools, Kenwood Elementary and Grace James Academy. Both received the family friendly school certification as part of the Kentucky Family and School Partnership Guide. It's really a couple of examples of what's going right in public education. But as leaders have pointed out, the past few years have been challenging. And next week, data from the Kentucky School Report Card is expected to be made public. Glass says Kentucky mirrors the nation and disruptions from the pandemic will still be seen. So there aren't going to be any surprises for people that are working in schools. Uh, there may be a lot of concern about it that happens over the over the next couple of days once the data comes out. But I would encourage everybody to calm down, take a breath and go back to work. Uh, we know the problems. We knew the problems were there before this data uh, uh, became available. And now it's just important to engage with it and, and let's start the process of recovery. Or let's continue the process of recovery. As for Jefferson County, Dr. Polio says this year's results will likely become a baseline to compare to years to come. In Louisville with photojournalist Neil Johnson, Darby Bean, WDRB News.